Hey YouTubers, so we are going to do a video similar to um, an Ace Freely smoking guitar. As you probably are aware, if you have clicked on this, you're somewhat aware that he used to, uh, and I guess still does probably, um, do a little thing on stage where it looked like his guitar was smoking, um, that it would catch fire from his incredible plan and to do that he basically had a, uh, a smoke bomb in the rhythm section of his Les Paul which uh, from what I understand he never actually used his rhythm pickup so it wasn't a big deal to put a smoke bomb in the compartment there so um, you know obviously you need something like that on stage. However, if you were making a guitar video and you decided to do it after the fact, which is what we're doing here, uh, you can use masking. Um, and in this example, we're going to use Hit Film Pro. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if I could do this, something similar to this in um, Sony Vega. Be a little more difficult, but I wouldn't doubt that I probably could figure it out. Um, so Sony Vega is my choice of editing software, but this is my choice for making special effects and stuff. It's a lot of fun. All right. So to do this, let me shut all these other things off here. And you know, I've got an Intel i7 computer that's lagging. So I think I need to buy more RAM, need a better video card. Who knows? Um, if it's a processor, we're in trouble. All right. So basically we've got this video clip and you'll get to see the whole thing at the end, which will run a lot smoother. Man, that was one hell of a session. Um, guitarist puts a guitar down and he's standing around. Whoa. Maybe he's talking to his buddy. Um, then he noticed Pickups are wow, smoking. After all that great plan, his um, do you see that guitar starts to smoke? Oh my God, they and, might be on fire. Uh, why not one up Ace Freely? But it's somebody like better call the fire department. Plus smoke. Woo! So, uh, how are we going to do that? Well, I've already laid out the uh, pretty much how it's done here. Um, and so what we need, I'm going to zoom in, so I'm using the wheel mouse, and then I'm right clicking to move everything up and center it, um, just in case you don't know that. So what, what we needed to do is create a mask, um, first step. So I've gone in here, we'll, we'll start with... Uh, top one and I'm going to turn it back on and I'm going to turn on and turn the mask back on so you can see what I did exactly okay and shut that off so I went in I created a mask around here boom then I actually went in and um, did that again why did I do that again well I want one of these to basically look like it's on fire and I needed the other one to cover it up so that the flames are coming from the side of it and also um, you could get away with this for one if you wanted to do the smoke because the smoke um, is something I can hide behind that mask section. All right, so if you're just going to make it smoke, you only need the one mask. If you want to make it on catch on fire, it helps to do uh, two masks. So I went and did the same thing for the bottom pickup. So let's go ahead and turn that one on. And we're going to see some fire there too. Let me hide that. And click on mask, mask, there you go. Now you see both masks, okay? So 
easy, one of the easiest masks you're ever going to have to make, a rectangle. It'd be even easier if it was completely level and I could use that guy, but uh, in this case we had to click four points and uh, that's about it. All right, so the next step that I did, so we have all those, all those rectangular boxes and basically I wanted one to be on fire, or excuse me, I wanted both of them to be on fire. So we'll turn the fire back on. And all I did for that is go in your effects and search for fire and grab the fire layer. And I dragged the fire layer over um, to this feature. Okay, so, and then it automatically goes down to effects. So there's our fire. So next thing we wanna do is I wanna show you if I turn on the other masking, the top and the bottom. And let's see here. The software sometimes looks Do you see that? Oh my God, they might be on fire. The fire only comes out uh, between the pickup rings and the um, pickup cell. And there may be some flame from underneath that covers up the top one um, and vice versa. All right, so next thing we did to make it look a little more realistic, we added some smoke. So I went down uh, over in effects, search for smoke, dropped the smoke in. And just so you can see where I put it. Um, oops, sorry, I'm gonna transform. And then position. And, oh, sorry. So I dragged the mask. If you're on mask, you gotta be on selection tool to see that. Okay, so now you see where the smoke bomb is, or the smoke thing is. So we're looking a little high um, not that it necessarily needs to be centered. Probably shouldn't be centered. Probably should sit up a little higher. But all right, so there's our smoke, and we hid the smoke behind one of the mask layers. Um, obviously, this both smokes could be down here because one of these would cover them up, right? So then the second smoke, and just so we can verify where I put it. There it is right there. So it's not even centered. So let's scoot it over a little. There we go. And now basically, um, we've oh my got God. the effect that we want. So they might be on fire. Um, Whoa. Hopefully you got something out of this. Somebody better call the fire department. Pickups are smoking. Uh, Whoa. Case in point, I have a video. Do you see that? Oh my God, they might be on fire. Somebody better call the fire department. So that's the video. Please like, please subscribe, please look out for more of my videos. Thank you. Man, that was one hell of a session. Whoa. Pickups are smoking. Do you see that? Oh my God, they might be on fire. Somebody better call the fire department.